do not be deceived. Matthew Matthew twenty four twenty three to thirty one. At that time, if someone says to you, "Look, he is the Messiah," or "There he is," don't believe him, for there will appear false messiahs and false prophets performing great miracles, amazing things, so as to fool even the chosen, if possible. There, I've told you in advance. So people say to you, "Listen, he's out in the desert. Don't go." Or look, he's hidden away in a secret room. Don't believe it, but when the Son of Man does come, it'll be like lightning that flashes out of the east and fills the sky to the western horizon. Wherever there is a dead body, that's where you find the vultures. But immediately following the trouble of those times, the sun will grow dark, the moon will stop shining, the stars will fall from the sky, and the powers of heaven will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky. All the tribes of the land will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with tremendous power and glory. He will send out his angels with a great shofar, and they will gather together his chosen people from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. The moon will stop shining, references to prophets. For the stars, the constellations in the sky will no longer give their light. The sun will be dark when it rises, and the moon will no longer shine. Yeshiyahu Isaiah 13.10 when I extinguish you, I will cover the sky and make its stars black. I will cover the sun with a cloud, and the moon will not give its light. Yet she Ezekiel, Ezekiel 32, 7. At their advance, the earth quakes, and the sky shakes. The sun and moon turn black, and the stars stop shining. Yol Joel 2, 10. The sun will be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the coming of the great and terrible day of Adonai. Yol Joel 3, 4. The sun and moon have grown black, and the stars have stopped shining. Yol Joel 4:15. And the powers in heaven will be shaken. References to prophets. The whole host of heaven will decompose. The heavens themselves be rolled up like a scroll. All that are rare, all that are rare will wither away like a withering grape leaf that falls from a vine or a withered fig from a fig tree. Ishiahu, Isaiah 34.4 For this is what Adonai Spiot says. It won't be long before one more time I will shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. Tell Zerubbabel, governor of Yehuda, I will shake the heavens and the earth. Haggai 2, 6, 2, 1. All the tribes of the land will mourn. References to the prophets. And I'll pour out on the house of David and on all those living in Yerushalayim a spirit of grace and prayer. And they will look to me, whom they pierced. They will mourn for him as one mourns for an only son. There will be in bitterness on his behalf like the bitterness of a firstborn son. When that day comes, there will be great mourning in Yerushalayim. Mourning like that for Hadad Ramon in the Megiddo Valley. The land will mourn, each family by itself, the family of the house of David by itself, and their wives by themselves, the family of the house of Natan by itself, and their wives by themselves, the family of the house of Levi by itself, and their wives by themselves, the family of the house of Shemai by itself, and their wives by themselves, all the remaining families each by itself, and their wives by themselves. Zechariah, Zechariah 13.10-14 to The Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven, references to prophets. I kept watching the night visions when I saw, coming with the clouds of heaven, someone like the Son of a Man. He approached the Ancient One and was led into his presence. To him was given rulership, glory and a kingdom, so that all peoples, nations and languages should serve him. His rulership is an eternal rulership that will not pass away, and his kingdom is one that will never be destroyed. Daniel, Daniel, 7, 13 to 14. With a great shofar, references the prophets. And that day a great shofar was sound. Those lost in the land of Ashur will come, also those scattered through the land of Egypt. And they will worship Adonai in the holy mountain in Yerushalayim. Isaiah 27, 13. Shofar means ram's horn or trumpet. The ram's horn is blown at a season of the high holy days. Feast of trumpets, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement, In the future, the Day of Judgment will be announced by blasts of the shofar.